address you. Happy Monday, Tuesday. So my name is Kevin May. I'm a student here at Penn State. And last year, I actually took a year off from school. And I decided to bike across America with some of my friends. And so we started on the East Coast in Delaware. All right. Clearly talking way too loud. Sorry, I have a louder voice than the soldier. So I'm just going to speak into this like this because the beer kind of funky. Um, so anyway, we liked to cross America, and the theme of our trip was we were exploring sustainability and what that really means, and what it means to be in the environment. Like, what the heck is an environment anyway? So we, we went all across the country asking people. We went to big farms, we went to little farms. We talked to people out in the countryside. We talked to people in cities. And so one day I was biking through northern Nebraska. And I, we had been biking through cornfields for about four states straight. The only change of scenery is that the cornfields and the soybeans switch sides. <laughs> And uh, I was coming in from a day of about 50 miles of biking, and I'm just dead tired, and I see this sign that says, Rocky's Barbecue Pit Stop. And I was like, oh, I could go for some barbecue right now. So I pulled up, and I went up to the, the counter, and none other than Rocky himself comes up. And he's this short guy with a mustache. He's like, hey, how can I help you? And I was like, you know, I don't have much money. I'm biking across America, exploring sustainability. Uh, is there any way I could work in exchange for some food? And he's like, Yeah, come follow me on my on my ATV, and I'll I'll show you where to pick some firewood, and then you can help me out, and then I'll fix you up with a pulled pork sandwich and a milkshake. How's that sound? And I was like, well, That sounds great. I mean, I'm really tired, but I'll help you with some firewood. And so I was. Uh, just picking firewood in the backyard of this place, and I started talking with Rocky, and it was really obvious to me that although he didn't seem like someone who was interested in sustainability or the environment, he was very connected with his surroundings because he got his he got his meat from a local farmer, and he got his firewood for this smoker just right behind his his pit stop. And so he had this relationship with his local environment. And that's really what we found across the whole country was that no matter who we were talking to, most people really loved their, their local environment and had some intimate connection with it. And a definition for sustainability is that you want those things for your, for your kids. You want your kids to have healthy water, healthy air, healthy food, things like that. And so when I came back to State College this fall, I came across a very interesting initiative that goes along with this theme of intimate connection with the local environment. And so this, this initiative is called a Community Environmental Bill of Rights. And it is a it is the first time in the history of America that this Environmental Bill of Rights is on a popular vote here in State College. It's the first time in American history that we could actually vote for environmental rights in our area. And each one of you can vote in this election. It's on November 8th. And so if you're interested in participating in this, it is a historical event to protect our local environment, to say, I believe that my children should have the right to healthy water, healthy air, and healthy food. So if you're interested, <laughs> I'm getting tied up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm over. It's the end of class. So to, 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 to finalize, I have I have voter registration for.
forth down here. But honestly, this is a momentous event in environmental and American history to protect environmental rights. So if you'd like more information on how the forums down here, the election is on November 8th. You can also check out groundswell.gs or groundswell on Facebook. But thank you very much, and uh, thanks for listening.